In the Unresolved Problem segment tonight, using a little boy in the protest over illegal immigration. Yesterday, eight-year-old Saul Ar Ar Ariano, I'm sorry, Ariano, and more than 100 activists arrived on Capitol Hill to protest the crackdown on illegal immigrants. Saul's mother, Elvira, was recently deported in a very high-profile case you may remember. Now, during the demonstration, Saul became very upset as things became increasingly intense. Tough to watch that. Joining us now from San Diego, Enrique Marrones, a president of the Border Angels organization. You know, it's really tough to watch that. And, and, and I would never let a son of mine, eight years old, be in the middle of that. I, I, I just don't think it's right. What do you say? Well, Bill, hello. I, uh, I know Saul, and I've, I've been with Saul in Washington, D.C., and I was with Elvira yesterday at the border. It's a very personal issue. And Saul wants to do these types of things. I'm going to see Saul in a couple of hours because he's coming back to uh, Mexico. I mean, yeah, he's back to Mexico. He's flying back as we speak, and we're going to go down to Tijuana to be with his mom. And she has said, and I've heard her say it right in front of him, you know, it's up to you what you want to do. He wants to participate. Tomorrow they're going to be flying back from Tijuana to Michoacan, where they're from, where she's from. He's going to be going to school there. It's a very personal situation. He's one of four million undocumented children or, or, or children in the same status, whether they're born in the United States or U.S. citizens and their parents are undocumented, half of which are not Latinos. Right, so this is a very common situation. He's eight situation. years old. He's eight years yes. old, Enrique. Come on now. Right. I mean, he's not in any position to make any kind of decision about this kind of a sophisticated situation. Um, and you saw him crying. You saw the fear in his eyes. Um, I think it's wrong to put this boy now. If you want to use a picture of the boy, if you know, but to have him parade up into congressional offices where people are screaming and hooting, it's just not right, Enrique. It, and if the mother well, thinks it's, it's right, you ought to talk to the mom because it's just not right. It's a personal decision, and it, and it is not right what is going on with these parents being deported the way they are. And that's why we need the Humane and Comprehensive Immigration Reform. Well, that's it's a very why we have lawyers. Situation. As, you know, this woman that's who right. was deported, Elvira, I don't know her, but she was deported twice. All right? She was deported once, came back, got pregnant with Saul, gave birth, defied the authorities, didn't show up at her hearing. Look, Enrique, you got to understand something here. I'm sympathetic to poor people who want better lives. I've said it many, many times. But the anarchy that you seem to want to promote and then the use of a little eight-year-old boy to, to bolster the case for anarchy is disturbing. Don't you understand my point of view? You don't have to agree with me, but don't you understand it? Well, we're not promoting anarchy. We had a prayer vigil at the border yesterday, and the little boy is doing this under his own free will. Oh, man. His mom Come has on. talked to him, and, 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 I, and I, know the, I, know the, I know the family. He's crying, and it's a tragic situation. Again, the kid was in tea. We saw it. Everybody I don't, just I don't saw know, it. But I don't know of an eight-year-old boy that, or girl that doesn't cry occasionally, and maybe the fear. I don't know. I wasn't in Washington D.C. I was in Tijuana doing the prayer right. vigil. Well, but I don't. You can't. I know you can't see the video now, manner. but when you watch the program tonight, you're going to see the boy, and the boy does not want to be there. This is traumatic for the boy. He, he, he He's he already separated he from his mom. He should be with his mom. This is he bewildering be and confusing hours. to adults, much less an eight-year-old boy. You That's know, I, I look, all I want you to do is see my point of view here, is just understand that this isn't good for the kid. Nothing good is going to come out of this. Like this. What? There's four million children in the same situation. I understand situation. four million children, the reform. but it's we not the, the United reform. States' it's fault that their parents came here illegally and had them. They, they had no other choice. They, they, they uh, cannot come legally. Poor they, people cannot get a visa. Poor people cannot get a visa. We, we, Her only way we to have no obligation to take the world's poor in here, Enrique. We have no obligation to But the policies of this country make some of these people poorer. The policies of this country, the economic impact no, of the, the United States policies, policies Mexico greatly influenced that made Mexico people needs to do more, poor. too. I'll be in Mexico tomorrow. No, no. It's, no, no, no. It's, it's a bilateral all, issue in this it's case. It's all on Mexico. No, it's not all. Oh, no yes, way. Yes, it is. That's not true at all. Not true at all. All right, Enrique. We always like talking to you, but I want you to watch the tape, and, and I, I hope well, I don't do. have to see Saul in that position again. It's wrong. And we appreciate you coming on, as always. Plenty more ahead is the fact.